Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Hey everyone, welcome to Toy Break episode 70. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Neil. And this is your show, internet show, for toys, designer vinyl, action figures, reviews, news, shows, coverage. We do it all right here on Toy Break every week. Wow. There it is. <laughs> I just wanted to let them know what we do. Now you know. <laughs> so a reminder that we have the Billy Sin contest going right now. Two lucky winners will each receive one of these handmade, hand-cast, hand-painted Billy Sin figures by N Reason. To enter, just visit nreason.com and check out the Where's Billy image. Then leave a comment in our form with the number of Billies that you find. It's kind of like Where's Waldo, but Where's Billy? The deadline is April 1st, and if you want an easy link, just go to the show notes at toybreak.com, or you can head over to the form. You know you want a resin afro. Who Get doesn't? yours here. <laughs> We'd also like to thank our sponsors, like FuzzyBallsApparel.com, 3DRetro.com, and uh, PanicsToyBox.com. So thank you. Thank you to all of them. That brings us into news. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> news. VinylAddiction.tv Hosted by artist Jesse Hernandez, Vinyl Addiction is a new show all about the designer toys and urban vinyl movement. The show features behind-the-scenes interviews with artists, companies, collectors, and show coverage. VinylAddiction.tv for more. Very cool. These are uh, a little bit short. Yeah, obviously shorter than <clears throat> Toy Break. They're like five-minute episodes, and he's got several up. The first one is uh, Interview with Marka27. So very cool. Love to see that. little uh, artist on artist action. Whoa. Going on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, though. It's cool. We like yeah, to see more it's a good show. video out there about the designer community. So welcome, Vinyl Addiction. Welcome, Jesse Hernandez, although you're old to the scene, new to the video, though. So, awesome. Go check it out. I will. Will you, really? Maybe. <laughs> Plastic and Plush exclusive Pierce and Nathan figures. These are by Jared Deal. Plastic and Plush exclusive green Pierce and Nathan figures are limited to 50 pieces and available now with print, signed, for only $75. You can check them out and buy them at PlasticandPlush.com. Right now. Right now. Green, in honor of St. Patrick's Day and spring. And just general greenness. And other things green. All greenosity. Right there. <laughs> Vinylmation. <laughs> Urban Series 1 by Disney. <laughs> Twelve more designs for the three-inch Vinylmation figures were just released, including Glow, Graffiti, Checkered, El Super Raton, Fur, Monster, Oopsie, Pinball, Pirate Mickey, Swiss Cheese, and Who's There? Only ten dollars. Nothing says urban like Swiss cheese. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think urban. I think Swiss I cheese. I salivate for Swiss cheese. I'm or gonna that... I'm gonna give a sight unseen review based on pictures alone. You've seen it then. Not urban. Yeah, the... Disney oh, uh, uh, maybe they got some urban artists involved in this, but not so chances much. are it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I saw the artist names and I personally from our field did not recognize any of them. Way to go, Disney. Very well, urban. They could have. They could have dumbed it down too. Swiss cheese, quite know. urban. <laughs> Checkered. All right. Ooh. Who wants to talk about this one? Well, not me. <laughs> the Neil Wynn Project. Who? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that, that should have been planned. <laughs> wow. They're gonna think we rehearsed or something. There was no it rehearsal was, for that. That, that was, was off beautiful. The cuff. That was a beautiful thing. So we have a new Neil Wynn Project, which, if you were watching last week in episode sixty-nine. Neil uh, alluded to, teased, well, just we, tickled the we, balls with. Just Whoa. <laughs> I don't remember that part of episode 69. That should have been back on 69, I think. <laughs> I yeah. don't remember that. So what we're going to do is we're going to post. Neil has come up with three character designs, and we're going to post them in the form at toybreak.com. And have you guys choose which one you like the most, and then I'll sculpt it and paint it, and we'll, I guess, produce it, maybe... Sculpt it, mold it, cast paint it, it, paint it, and film all of that to show you guys a kind of uh, how to Down DIY your own figure. Because we've gotten that request a bazillion times on, hey, will you ever show us this stuff? And we started to way, way back 
Uh, we showed you about tools and things like that, materials, but we, we never quite got into the <laughs> making of because we are busy and we didn't. So Neil has decided to step up and say, hey, I'm going to let you guys film me doing something. So he was kind enough to start these sketches. Um, the final design will be refined from the sketch that you Definitely. guys pick. Like those are just rough completely sketches. rough. <laughs> yeah, like you did them real quick just to put them up. Um, so, but there's three, you'll see them in the forum, talk about them. If there's things you like about one, like pick the one you like, tell us stuff you like about it, don't like about it. Uh, Neil will refine that design I will. to the finished version <laughs> before we do the sculpt, before Neil does the sculpt and we film that. So join the community and get involved and become a part of this making of that you've been asking us for. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, I think it's a cool idea, like having people choose what one they like. I think it's a cool idea I had. <laughs> I think my idea is very good. <laughs> so, yeah. But no, and then in the end, well, how I mean, sell them? Sure. Yeah. Like a limited run of maybe no more than 50, maybe. Yeah. We'll sell 50 them. would be a large run, I think. If I'm going to paint them all? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they'll sculpt their own at home, and they won't have to buy yours. Perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. We're going to teach them how. So yeah, there you go. So go to the forum now, go to the news section under Toy Break, and you will see the poll of which character you like the best. Vote. Please. Yes. And Let me know what you think. Get those votes in by April 1st so that we can start this process. I want to start sculpting. We want to have a finished piece at Comic-Con. So oh, we'll have it before Comic-Con. I know. Maybe Just we'll saying. debut it there. Oh, a Comic-Con debut. At your Artist Alley table? Maybe. Hmm. Neil Wynn at Comic Con. <laughs> dot com. Very cool. I'm very excited about this. A chronicling of Neil's project, the Neil Wynn project. I Correct. just wanted to say chronicling. I know that you did. <laughs> <laughs> but that means it's time for Blind Box. Oh. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind Box time! Today's Blind Box BFFs. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. <laughs> um, okay, these are <laughs> Best Friends Forever, Love Hurts. By Travis yeah. Kane and Kid Robot. The front and yeah. sides of the box are all like, you know, stuff you'd write in high school on your, your scratch into your desk or write on the on your notebook, I you guess. You were defacing school property? No, never. Never. You would write them on your book, of course. Not on the inside, but on your homemade paper bag covers. On your binder. Or on your you trapper wrote. keeper. All right, so which one do you guys want? I, of course, want the meat. The meat's pretty good. I want the tooth with the lollipop. Not sure I want any of them, but okay, here we go. <laughs> you got to pick one that you want to get. Um, uh, the 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 bomb looks cool. The unknown. The, un the, un the unknown. You don't know that that's a bomb. Bomb. Oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. All right. This might be one of the shortest. Uh, Small series, series. Yeah. Small series. Which is good. Box. I like that. I don't have to buy too many. Uh -oh. That's true. I think I got the wiener. <laughs> okay. I got the bomb. I got you did? it. I got it because I'm the bomb. Uh, you get a blank white piece of cardboard. I didn't get that. I did. I Maybe so you don't know that you got the bomb. Ooh, mine stinks. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so does mine. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That is. It looks just like the picture. Except colored. I like the, the extra coloring on there, though. There's like, it looks like it's a little corroded. It's a little oh, I thought that was almost. dirt. I got the heart, by the way. The arrow right. arrow shooting through the heart. I got the wiener. Oh, I like that Bon Jovi song. Shot through the heart. And you're to blame. You give love. A bad name. A wiener. That's a nice wiener, Neil. Actually, that's kind of cool. Well, thanks. I like that one. It's better than this. Heart. I can't open my stick. There we go. Oh, he's cute. Do you want to see my wiener? Sure, I'll trade you from my stick. <laughs> oh, he's got a... Oh, okay. Is this it? No, he's got the bomb. Oh, oh, you got the bomb. <laughs> I should pay attention. <laughs> sometimes Neil doesn't listen. Uh, uh, sometimes, all oh, the time. <laughs> I got the heart with an arrow through it. Um, it's very... The face is very buff monster. Yeah. It's, I mean, it looks almost identical mm. to yeah. a buff monster face. Yeah. Um... And then the heart is just a heart with an arrow. I don't know. My, this is kind of stupid. All the faces are kind of like that. Put a All fork right. in me. I'm done. Let me see that one. This one's done. <laughs> I like the hot dog. 
I like the match for the bomb, and that's the part I like. I like that's kind of an interactive thing. I mean, you could take it apart. It doesn't just... Yeah, it's, there's the not much to say. They just have silly little faces on them. And a weird two-tone They all look print. like Buff Monster drew them, though. But they all have that weird two-tone faux sponge yeah. paint. Yeah, that's cool, but I don't know. I just don't like... That's cute. I like the paint a lot more than just being just it being a flat color. Sure. This one's fun. I like it. I like this one. I like it, but it doesn't jump out to me as buy me on the blind on that row of blind box shelf. Each one of the each store. one of the things is killing the other one though. It's funny. I get it. There's killing involved. There is killing involved. In your cute. Killing in your cute. No. I'm cute. No. Well yeah, but this is <laughs> killing and it's cute and it's killing alright, whatever. They look like buff monster ripoffs. How about some reviews? Enough said. Next. Reviews. Reviews. Up first we have the long-awaited, finally here, Mectorians. Oh, shit. Really? Right. We didn't buy these last Comic-Con like they said they were, we were going to? No. Oh, been... no. It's been over a year. All right. So this is what a case of Mectorians looks like. Ooh, fancy. If you were to go to the store, you would see the case set up with the pop out and the fold down. And the tuck in. And the tuck and the fold and the... Tuck and fold? Tuck and fold. Ah, there you go. So that's what it looks like in your local store. This is what it looks like when you buy just the pieces. If so, you were to buy a case, you would get two sets. You, yeah, two sets exactly in the case. These are not blind box, which is awesome. As you can see by the window. Um, Ow, my foot. Let's talk right away about... Right away. This super duper thick cardboard case might as well have been made out of plastic and cost you even more this goes the cost of this makes this more expensive so just so you know that don't you don't need this really 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 thick expensive glossy box yeah the gloss is unnecessary and then these boxes really do they have to be this complex really all we have to do these are obviously by dr a and mind style and uh they're typical mind style boxes yep but no magnets that's good, at least. So there's no magnets. Let's give them a props for no magnets. Now, here's the thing. Do you still give props? Do people do that? Just take this and put it in a nice little cardboard window box. Thin, cheap. You don't have to make the things more expensive. Let your figure speak for itself. But as you can see, interesting, they just pop right off the top. I do. I, I mean, if you're going to go it's crazy nice and box. make the box and make your figure more expensive, fine. At least it's cool. I guess you could figure out something to do with this. The one thing I do like, I'm you not. You could put it on display. That's box. you could, but why would you keep your figure in the I box? Don't know. It looks stupid. <laughs> I don't know. But you can take your piece and turn it upside down, Ooh, and you have painful. a cool little you have a cool little stand when you open your figure. Oh, that's smart. So you take the base, which has the Dr. A logo, which is fun. Oh, that's a great thing. That's a great idea. Good idea, George. So you could take your figure out, keep your little Dr. A logo. Did you come up with that all your, by yourself? I, well, I don't make, somebody else might have come up with it, but... Are we opening these? Yeah. Open it up. So, this series is series one. Hey, wait, there's something in here. What? I don't know, is there something in the bottom of yours? No. Nope. <gasps> what is that? Jolly Good Show Lucky Draw Winner. <laughs> Did you just get a golden ticket? Uh, it's not golden, but I just got a ticket. Congratulations, mate. You are one of the lucky finders of the most sought-after rare chase figures from the good Dr. A. Please please scan this ticket and email MindStyle for instructions to claim your prize. You will need to present this ticket, so hold on to it in a safe place. Authentic and original premium limited editions MindStyle. Well, now, oh, we know. Crap. now we know how the golden ticket works that I was going to mention that they were in these things. <laughs> well, we were going to talk about that. But <laughs> so in these boxes, there is a chance of getting a... It's not really a golden ticket. It's just a <laughs> chance crap. to get a That's limited awesome. edition piece. And we kind of thought, well, how are they going to possibly hide... A golden ticket in a, a box A ticket in a open. clear open box. Well, this is how. You can't even see... It was yeah. in the bottom. Can't see the difference. You wouldn't even have been able to tell I that it was notice. in there. That's awesome. That's awesome. George, Covered you just got a golden piece. ticket. That's the first time I've ever gotten anything like that. I know. This is awesome. Were you going to say anything about the golden tickets? I was going to mention the golden ticket and how I thought it was pretty odd that they were putting them in a sealed uh, and open a box. But now I got one and I'm not going to complain <laughs> about it now. Um, 
Although, if you don't get a golden ticket, MindStyle is offering the same figures to their, like, club members. Yes. But the figures are going to be, like, $42 a piece. It's, like, $240 for the set. And you have to buy them as a set. You can't buy them separately. I gotta say, mm. that's ridiculous. This yeah. gets you one it, of one piece of the set. One figure okay, of the set. But if you're getting it, that's cool. That's like, hey, I bought the set, I get an extra thing, chase figure, that's how the whole thing works. The golden ticket idea works. $42 for a figure, holy moly. That's awesome. But you know what? Now we'll be able to evaluate it and be like, hey, this is worth 42 uh, We can. We can tell you if it's 42. worth it or not. So hopefully we'll get that before they go well, on let's, sale. Let's, let's look at the figures. Let's talk about the figures here. I'm really excited. I got a golden ticket. I've I'm never excited. gotten one before. I, I don't even, I can't even continue. Okay, so the first series here includes six three and a half inch figures, including Stephen Lapod, DJ Grammo, DJ Mr. Grandma. Mr. Head, Scuttler the Butler, Sentry Wheel, and Sir Schilling. I just popped. You just broke your wheel? I broke my wheel, I think. Up. It goes in. Give me a second. All right, so I got this. What's this one again? The I got DJ Grammo in my hands here. DJ Grammo is the one that came with the prize, just so you know. Um, <laughs> this is kind of cool. He he's got like the little feet, like uh, old bathtub feet, like the old claw 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 feet. And he actually opens up. Oh, that's awesome! And there's a little record. Oh, he comes off. Very cool. That comes off. Like Seventy-eight that. RPM. It's actually painted <laughs> on the back and the nice. front. Rivet waltz, 78 RPM, and his little thing turns. His little what? crank. Yeah. My crank doesn't turn. Little crank turns. Man. I get jipped. Um, I don't awesome. have any moving parts except the piece that I think I broke off. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, wait. I want. So, this one is. Sentry wheel. Sentry wheel. And it's squishy. Obviously, these are vinyl. Mine is squishy. Yeah, this one's got a, a it's soft, nice soft roto. And it smells real bad if you get it real close. Woo, China air. Mine doesn't smell that bad. Um, Can I, I see have... your broken piece? Can you stop yeah, trying to break it more? No. Wow, oh, you really broke it a lot. It just needs a little glue. <laughs> just a little. I barely touched that. That's fun. Well, these are awesome designs. I dig them. They are, and they actually did very good job, I think, of capturing Dr. A's sort of... Mm, it's not gritty. It's not really dirty. What's the... Loved. Worked in. Used. Yeah, used. Used. Used style. Like, you know, that worn metal look. Worn. Worn. So here's the Stephen Lapod. Um, this He's is so the... Cute. Here's the original, or not the original, but the large version from BTN last year. Compared to the little guy here in my hand. Why wouldn't they do it the same color? This was a, co a special That's colorway a, for VTN. Oh, okay. VTN colorway. Um, they also do sell him in this color, a bit large. But they fixed the giant Mind Style logo Upside on the bottom. Down. Nice. It is now right side up. I and mean, little. it's still on there, but whatever. It's got to be on there somewhere, I guess. But, the I mean, look at the, hat. Look how great the, you know, the panograph is. It looks, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it looks yeah, perfect. It's, it's great. Underneath. Yeah, I mean everything. Looks it's, great. The panograph job is really good, which is the scaling down in China of the large one to the small one. Panograph. Um, Need the bouncing ball. Looks looks awesome. I mean, they did a really great job. Obviously, the hat is not removable on the small one, like it is on the large one, where they change out the design for the hats. Right. Um, so I'm going to cut the hat off mine and turn it into a VTN one. Oh, are you now? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I want them to match. I think it's funnier. That is Scuttler the Butler. Scuttler the Butler. Wow, look at all the Thank tiny you. details on these. Yeah, it's cool. This guy's great. The um, Sir Schilling. This one's Sir Schilling, right? Oh, no, this is Scuttler the Butler. That one's Sir Schilling. Sir Schilling. My bad, I mixed them up. Sorry. Um, this guy's... Oh, obviously he's the butler. He's got the tray. Yep. But he's great. He's a, kind of a robotic shrimpy <laughs> looking guy. But he's got such a cool expression, like just simply with his eyebrows. You gotta love all the beards and mustaches. Must on and he came too. with a tiny teapot and two tiny teacups. Oh, for his tray. So I'm already in love <laughs> with it because awesome. I like little food. How much are these? 
They're fourteen ninety nine. Fifteen dollars a piece. Fifteen dollars a piece. So at first I, I thought I thought the price was a bit high. Um, but looking at like especially like a guy like this who's got so many extra parts that are glued on. Like he's got these extra little arms that are glued on, this top piece is glued on, this tiny little handle on his oven back mm -hmm. is glued on. Um, all these little legs are glued on. So I mean it's got a lot tiny of extra legs. parts that make the price a little higher and the painting is the paint you know, is there's really a lot of extra good. paint steps in there. So, to I get mean, these sort of washes. Yeah. It I does. mean each it's, one's a different paint application. I think it's it's definitely worth it. I don't know how much they even would have saved making I a think cheaper it's worth box. It. It, you know, just getting all this stuff. So I think the fifteen dollars price tag is worth it for these. I mean, there's vinyl toys out there for fifteen bucks that are the same size, but they're pretty not awful. as detailed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's nothing in them. This guy's pretty it's rad too. Look at his little crazy. wind up. They're great. The great designs. Yeah. Definitely. I'm a big fan of rivets, so uh, <laughs> I love seeing things with all these rivets on it and everything. <laughs> Who's your favorite in the set? Ooh, a favorite. Uh, mine's definitely Stephen Lapod. Oh, really? Yeah, I dig that. Hmm. I'm torn between Scuttler the Butler and what's this one? Graham, uh, DJ, DJ Grammo. I like the the turny movement action on Grammo. Yeah. But the butler has the little teacups and the. The cool face. thing about this is the removable piece, but it kind of would have been maybe if it were on like a hinge. Because what do you do with it when you open them? You don't really open them a lot. Yeah, you got to keep them a little separate. There, you do that. Hmm. So he has a little mouth. Hmm. I'm giving these two thumbs up. He's the least one that's... He's the least character and most just an object. Oh, yeah. I've... Well, the gears, which one was that? Yeah, I think the gears is more Century, Century wheel. He's got at least a face, though. That guy has a face? There's his mouth and there's his eyes. I think that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> These are cool. Maybe you'll get the special one with your ticket. I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, a little zap. It's all good. Um, I think this guy's my favorite. Maybe. Yeah. The fat. He's really good. The fat chest of drawers. Kind of reminds me of the Mr. Bubble bubbles, or what, what were they called? The uh, cleaning bubbles. Wow. Yeah. Scrubbing bubbles? Scrubbing bubbles, thank you. Jeez. Oh, the head? Yeah, like, yeah like, I could see totally that. looks like that. I I'm, just love he's got he's a chest of drawers in the front and he's got a little safe in the back. <laughs> Very cool. Like I said, though, definitely two thumbs up, both to Dr. A for the designs and to Mind Style for the execution. What's this guy? I'm glad they took the extra time to make sure that they got everything just right yeah. before they came out. Excellent pieces. I highly recommend them. We got ours at 3D Retro, so if you're still looking for yours... Uh, they're pretty widely available, but I'm sure you can get them at 3D Retro. Yeah, or click on any of our sponsors. Probably Panic's also. Toy Box as well. Go to our, go to toybreak.com. Click on our sponsors. 3D Retro, we know has them. Love them. Great job. Great job. Good job, Doctor A. Um, moving on, we have. You want to look at that some more? <laughs> All right. Moving on. Next up, we have the Star Wars comic packs. Now, these are actually there's tons of these out there if you are an action figure or Star Wars collector. Nope. So these are the first ones that we had to get. Because um, Ewoks. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> so these are comic packs from Hasbro. And for $12 you get a comic. And generally you get two, two figures, figures. Unless it's the Ewok pack in which you get three figures. Because they're small. Because they're Ewoks and they're awesome. Now, the cool thing about... Let's start with yours. The cool thing about the Ewok pack... The Ewoks, including Kyokich, Machuk, and Ketch. <laughs> you just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah, I did. Machuk. Go ahead. Um, the Ewoks come with st in Stormtrooper armor and such. <laughs> like, one of them's wearing the chest armor from a Stormtrooper. This guy's got that. The other one's it. got the helmet and a belt from one of the Stormtroopers they beat up. Check him out. You can actually take the helmet off. Oh, ripped his head off. Uh, you can take the helmet off and put his cowl on and then have him hold the helmet under his arm or just put it next to him. Freaking hilarious. So, excellent figures, you know, fun, regular old Hasbro Ewoks. What's the most articulation I was gonna say, seen in an Ewok? Way more articulation in these Ewoks than any of the old stuff. I mean... Well, then the old 80s, that's not more than the more recent. Oh, okay. They have, like, ball joint feet, even. 
and ball joint arms and wrist articulation, waist articulation, hip, head. I mean, it's just tons of articulation on this guy. Ball joint head even. They're so crazy without their yeah. cowls. Mm. It does not look like an Ewok with a cowl off. He looks no. like a gremlin, right? Kind of looks like a gremlin. I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, See? that's not. Leave those on. <laughs> so I took the, I went ahead and did a little research and read the comic last night. Oh, awful it was awful yeah it looks pretty awful it was so awful not only is the art awful worse than awful the story was worse than the art and it, yeah. like as you're reading it <laughs> they're like luke i would like to ask you something yes han solo what would you like to ask me like <laughs> we know who the characters are <laughs> this, the cover is amazing though i mean that's a great look oh, at him he's stepping that. on a stormtrooper helmet <laughs> tell him what you said when you first saw it suitable for framing <laughs> look at look at it like the helmet's all squished <laughs> and shitty it. though like it's ter even the art's terrible but it's an awesome cover who did that but neil win <laughs> <laughs> so the other pack we got was the uh star wars x-wing road x-wing rogue squadron number 19 with Ibtissum and Nrin Vakil. Obviously. They're really just getting stupid with names. Like, seriously? They're just have to mushing name letters this? together. Um, again, the comic, this time even the cover's awful. <laughs> the comic itself, I read like the first page and I was like, this is dumb. Yeah, Bad. The art's a I little bit better in, actually in that comic. Oh, yeah. Um, a little, but it's, a little bit. But yeah. it's still awful. I'll tell you what, though. The art on the side, when you open the box, the art that runs up the side of the packaging is really good of the two characters, even the Ewoks. Oh yeah. The art is really cool. Like, look at these. That's cool. Yep. I didn't even really look at that that much. So I don't know why they didn't get those artists to be involved, but <laughs> whoever did that is really awesome. But the, this pack was so cool. It's basically they're just X-Wing uh, X-Wing fighter guys, X-Wing fighter, X-Wing pilot guys, but with alien head and hands. Just re-sculpted new head and hands and put on the old X-Wing figure. Um, this one's actually a chick X-Wing pilot. I didn't even know they made girl X-Wings. Do you have a problem with that? I remember in the movie not seeing any girls, but whatever. These are cute. <laughs> this is basically a blue girl Admiral Akbar. But look at her cool little X-Wing helmet can fit right <laughs> on her head. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> She's pretty. And then this one is basically, what was this guy's name? In the squid face, squid face know. in the comics or in the uh, old the old toys. I feel like I'm gonna break them when I'm bending. Or... Yeah, it's real thin because it's a girl figure. I think that's funny. It's that's... got boobs and everything yeah, in the in the X-wing suit. No, it's just the material it's made out of. It's kind of really uh, flimsy. It feels soft or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I like how they modified, you know, X-wing helmets to fit the alien heads. Yeah. This one fits this well nice over detail. his too. I mean, it's just their simple. It's just this regular X-wing pilot, just with a new head and new hands. But and matching comic. But it's cool. Don't forget the comic. I like the fact that they put the the alien helmet is my favorite part. I think. There's only one them. one drawback to these two sets. The price. Only at Walmart. <laughs> we had to scour dozens of WalMarts. We just went early because you were excited to get Ewoks. I went and got them when I heard from other people, specifically Slick Me Favorite. Check out his podcast, OpenYourToys.com. He had found his at his local Target and posted pictures that they were out. So for it took like two weeks since he found his for them to get to our tar Walmarts. He only he lives less than a day away. Come on, that's silly. Not two weeks. That's silly. You're silly. But I'm very happy, Who and when stands? we went to find ours, there were plenty of them in the store, so you could probably still find them at Walmart. And of course, you can get the regular. Oh, look at him! In the helmet. <laughs> um, you can probably, and you can find the regular comic packs at HasbroToyShop.com. And uh, twelve dollars, I'm totally cool with that because for me, that's only four dollars in Ewok. But for you, that's six dollars a figure. What do you think? Uh, I don't nah. Know. I mean, I guess six dollars a figure is a fine price, but I don't know. Whatever. They're fine. I just like the blue alien, really. Blue Admiral Akbar. Interesting, though. They're cool. Interesting. Next up. Next up. Next up, um, I sat down with Ben from 3DRetro.com to take a look at Birdie the Pipe Bomb from Big Shot Toy Works. Check it out. 
Hi, we're here with uh, Ben from 3D Retro and the offices of 3D Retro. Uh, basically because he has a birdie pipe bomb and we do not. Ben was gracious enough to have us over to the office so we can review birdie the pipe bomb. Yay! So here, let's start with the box. First of all, look at this thing. It's, it's massive. But the artwork is very nice. You hold the bottom. I'll and I, I think, out. George, you made a good point where it's like, if you like the artwork enough, you can literally, like, just... Trim that out. Trim it frame and it. frame it. So, and then you've got a second piece right here. You right, which you can trim frame. and frame. So, how does this thing? Already worth your money. It opens up. Wow. There's another piece. Another piece you could trim up and frame. A lot of like. artwork, which and which has nothing to do with the rest of the box, which you open up here. So that's like and I don't know why it. they did that. Yeah. But then clamshell figure. Very very well kept. So let's put that to the side for a yep. second and bring out the dude. Dude. Oh, I forgot. Oh, one of the accessories. First of all, my very first reaction to touching this thing is he's super light. Very light. Way Looks lighter. very heavy. Yeah, way lighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, and just a ton of cool articulation. Right. Now, I've already kind of, I already put the belt on him, and I already did the hand pose so that he holds the the throwing thing and basically what I like to do is I like to take a look at the box art or the art that they use on the website or the photos that they use on the website and I pick out the best one that looks like the coolest that made me buy the figure and I try to pose the figure as close as possible to that pose which this one just amazing all the fingers have like three points of articulation like real fingers the hand moves around, the wrist moves around, I mean everything moves on this thing. Yeah, I mean, and not not only do the fingers move, but I mean literally like a hand. Yeah, like just like your finger would move, it moves all the joints. Yeah, you can put the gun in his hand and then literally grip the, the gun around it. And you can also probably, yeah, you can put the trigger, hand yep. finger through the trigger. It's awesome. Grip the whole gun in his hand with the trigger. Um, wrist, elbow, bicep swivel, he's got a ball joint shoulder, so he's got full movement there. Um, does his head, yeah, his head turns, oh my god. Um, his, down to his legs, little yep. ball joint in the... Now you can't stand him on those two legs because technically the character is supposed to be like able to walk on those two little feet. Yeah, the feet are a little bit, you know, right. let me take the base off for a sec. So you can take him off completely separate right. from the base, but there's no way in any kind of world that that will ever stand. Um, so luckily they do give you a nice sturdy base to put him with. Yeah. But I mean, he's got from down to these little pockets, uh, little canteen water bottle kind of things inside the little pockets. All the little buckles work to undo the pockets. Yeah. Comes with uh, this little guy and another... Another one of these. An extra grenade for yeah. the grenade launcher here. It's just awesome. Uh, the grenade launcher has actual leather straps and metal buckles to you know to hold it around. And one of the things I kind of like about the paint scheme on this one is the uh, the tattoo on his right um, forearm is a penis. Is it? Penis and balls. And it says, get fucked. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> from the 11th, yeah, which is like, I guess, the 11th is the unit, that infantry unit he's in. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Supposedly. So, yeah, this is, uh, I mean, amazing piece. Even this, even the weathering on the, on the rocket launcher makes it look metallic. I mean, it's not, it's a... Even the rust, it's supposed to look all rusty, and it looks really really well done like even even when you touch it and feel it yeah there's like a texture to mm -hmm. the rusted paint on here but it's not rust because the thing's not metal so yeah. great job very good job on these things amazing piece but very hard to find i think sideshow still might have their own exclusive version of it if you guys are still looking for it we're sold out unfortunately um or fortunately <laughs> and um I know that the other figures that after the birdie there was supposed to be another robot-esque figure and then they were going to release a few bramble infantry guys. Or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you missed birdie and you still can get a bramble, 
I would say get it. I mean, I, don't, I haven't seen the Bramble yet in person, but if it's anything like this, this piece is amazing. Right. Um, oh, we've got to mention, it's made by Ashley Wood. I th did we mention that? I don't think we did. Oh. Good choice. Artist Ashley Wood. Um, amazing artist, as you guys saw by some of the artwork on the box. And I'm really hoping that um, he makes more, maybe smaller figures with more companies. Yeah. Because so far he's just made these huge, gigantic robot things, which are awesome, but the price point on them, I don't have to tell you, is really high. Yeah. So. I would love to have a tiny version of this dude either. Right. It would be great. Something that's affordable or maybe a little more readily available. Right. And these yes. are made by um, 3 Zero. Yes. And um, World. And Big Shot Toy Works. Big Shot Toy Works. Yeah. Big. Uh, well, Big Shot Toy Works, I think that's it. WorldWarRobot.com. That's the website on here. So. 2007. I guess these, they started making these a while back. And if you collect 1 6 figures. This goes right there with you your go. guys. This is the desert combat version. There's also, I think it's also sometimes called the desert rat, and there's like uh, three or four versions total. So, awesome. Very cool. Thank hey, you. Hey, no problem. Let's go check out the rest of the office. Let's do it. Cool. I wanna be three D. I wanna be something you really see. I wanna be 3D, 3D. I wanna be 3D. I wanna become reality. I wanna be 3D, 3D. Well, I can be your virtual friend, and I can stand your hair on end, and I can be anything I wanna be. I wanna be 3D. I want your body next. I want to be 3D, 3D. So thank you, Ben, for allowing us to review your toy since we do not own one. To molest your Birdie the Pipe Bomb? What a cool figure that is. It's amazing. So much cooler than I thought it was you before I had it. held one. I didn't see it. But it's amazing. I'll take your word for it. You can watch the review. I will. <laughs> <laughs> that takes us into events. Events. Happenings. Do it. Stuff to do. Custom Mutt Show. It's a group show featuring lots of custom mutts at APW Gallery in New York City, New York, starting April 3rd. MySpace.com slash mutt toy. There's a lot of T's in that one. It really that's, is. That's a official, that's a <clears throat> specific amount, lots. Featuring lots of custom mutt toys. Yes, featuring lots. There were. There were lots of artists involved. And you should check out uh, myspace.com slash mutoy. I said that already. I know. I was just reiterating. <laughs> to check out the artists, go there. Height. You should also check out Humans Beware. This is the IWG custom show featuring over 70 artists at Rocket World in San Francisco, California from April 10th to June 6th. Check out blue77gallery.com slash shows slash IWG or go to toybreak.com and just click the show notes. Would that also be considered lots of toy of artists? It would, but that one we have a specific <laughs> specific number. Not really, specific. it's still over seventy. True. You are a picky man. <laughs> the resin collective. Lots of hand cast <laughs> figures from around the globe. At Red Hot Robot in Phoenix, Arizona, from April eleventh to May 9th. Redhotrobot.net. Very, very cool. Good shop and fun idea. Resin figures. Resin, Resin figures. Hmm. Wonder who's gonna do one of those. I hear somebody at Comic Con will have. I bet you won't have them by figure. April 11th. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> if you get to work, <laughs> chop chop. Come on, these people gotta get to my form. design. Let's go. Get to voting. And that pretty much wraps it up for Toy Break Episode 70. Thanks for taking a toy break with us. Remember to check out our affiliates and our sponsors at toybreak.com. We have great affiliates like Adagio Tees, iTunes, Rift Tracks, Netflix, and Jellyskins. So if you're, if you're thinking about like Netflix and you want to try it out, click through our site. And then you're helping support Toy Break and you're getting your free trial. And it's cool. Same with Adagio Tees, Alien Sweet Treat. Mm? That's pretty good. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I've had it. <laughs> It's pretty tasty. Jello skins. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Oh, advertisement right there. <laughs> That's a great one. 
Don't forget to save money with Toy Break. A lot of you have been doing that recently, I've noticed. Use the coupon code TOYBREAK at 3DRetro.com, FunCrush.com, and OctoberToys.com for 20% off your order. Woohoo! You should also visit our website, ToyBreak.com, for show notes for this show, past episodes, check out past episodes, watch them. You can join the contest on our forum. And we've also added a little show player to the homepage at ToyBreak.com. So you can watch the show right on the page. You don't even have to click anywhere else. There's also a little guide where you can click on old episodes. That way when we're talking Amazing. about stuff, you could just scroll down a little bit and click on the link. In and, a new window. In a new window and go check out the thing we're talking about <laughs> right as we're talking about That's it. That's amazing. Wow. We are in a the future. Amazing. This is the future, Neil. That's a better way to use of the show. You're blowing my mind. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> that just happened. And uh, don't forget to vote on uh, the Neil Wynn project. Project. Is that what we're calling <laughs> and it? And WP. Were you going to say the collective? I don't even know what I was going to say. The Neil Wynn? I forgot already. <laughs> but no, yeah, vote on that. It's, it's awesome. It's a great idea that I had. <laughs> <laughs> you can also call and leave us a message about the Neil Wynn project. You're going too far Or now. anything else. At the Toy Break voicemail <laughs> line at 818-AM-I-GOOD. Or you could email us at info at toybreak.com. Any of that information. Or maybe an MP3 Whoa. with your ideas. Just say hello. Let us know you're watching. Let us know we're doing this for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to be watching. Uh, lastly, don't forget to check out our toy briefs at youtube.com slash toy break. We've got some cool uh, stuff up there like the Watchmen series Wave 2 figures. That's right. You saw us review it. Wave 1 here on the show, and then we reviewed Wave 2 only on t on YouTube. So don't forget that. So <laughs> One way. It's going to go some way. Watch exactly. And now, here's your toy break. Some of these things just are not, not hit good for breaking. There we go. Whoa. That's good for breaking.